you are looking at what I call Roman mob, and we start with the song. Give me grace to follow, abundant grace to follow. Give me grace to follow, your grace is enough for me. Of course, we know a lot about the Roman mob. I think mean, Julius Caesar is a good example. If you read a book by Shakespeare, you see that you know, the Roman mob is, you know, they, you know, they change very easily. You know, today they are supportive, tomorrow they are not. And that can actually be life-threatening. But let's start with the prophecy. I see church finances being scrutinized. And I think if you have any kind of leadership position, it's better to keep your books in order because the time will come when you know, they will begin to make those kinds of demands and it can be very problematic if your books are not in order. Um, but let's go back to this issue of the Roman mob and public opinion. You see this reflected in Acts 12, verse 3. And seeing that this pleased the Jews, Herod proceeded to seize Peter during the feast of unleavened bread. So, you know, this leadership were very conscious of public opinion. If they felt public opinion favored a particular issue, you know, they would try to do that so that they do not lose their position. And you also see this in Acts 24, 27. But after two years, Portius Festus of Felix, and Felix wanted to do the Jews a favor, left Paul bound. I know this was, you know, in the context of, you know, Paul and his conflict with the Jews. But even if you look at Christianity today, you know, where people are becoming so woke, you know, and people are beginning to say all kinds of things about the faith, so much so that it looks like it's out of favor with public opinion. And if you are not careful, you can actually follow the crowd and the Roman mob, and that way will lead to destruction. So, you know, uh, believe God for the grace to continue in the faith, so that at the coming of Christ, you know, you will not be ashamed. Don't follow the woke mob. Don't follow the crowd. You know. Do that which is right by doing what is God's will and living a life that is in line with scripture.